Cat's Cradle here. For a teacher, there is just nothing better than a snow day. This is a picture of my best friend's house. She lives across the street from me, and her house is just gorgeous uh, when it's covered in snow. Um, so, Prepper uh, A and I are playing just a little bit. I'm going to bring you inside and show you what we're going to try out. Love a snow day. Here's what we're doing. I ordered this new hand crank vortex blender and it arrived last week and I hadn't had time to play with it. Uh, so I thought I'd clamp it on the table. It came with the clamp. It has this detachable manual handle. You just slip it here. This is a, a high speed and this is a low speed. Of course I want high speed because I'm going to put some frozen things in here. Uh, oh, down here it has a little a little place where the clamp goes and I'll when I take it apart I'll show you how that works. So let me put the handle back in. Preparate videoing this for me. So that's in. Uh, I've already put in a little bit of orange juice. We don't like milk in our smoothies so we start with orange juice and just put the fruit in so it's an all fruit drink. I had some of these uh, peaches that I canned last year and some of them were kind of mealy and instead of throwing them away I thought I can just blend that up in a smoothie I'd never know. So I've already put some of that in there. It was a little hard to blend up, but it did after a while. But it's just, they're like they're like a rock. So I'm gonna put these frozen strawberries in. Here they go. The real reason I thought to go ahead and do this today is because I had one banana that looks like this, and it's just very ripe. We don't like to eat them like that, but uh, they're perfect to sweeten a smoothie. No blemishes on it. So that's gonna get broken in half and go in. Okay, so let's just see what happens. I really like the lid because the lid kind of kind of screws on. I like that. And it's got the little slot here if you want to drop something in when you're blending it. Now, I don't need this to make a smoothie. <clears throat> that isn't why I bought it. The real reason I bought it is so that I can make wheatgrass smoothies in case I have to ever count on wheatgrass uh, as, as my vegetable or my fresh fresh fruit food. I can grow it indoors. Just trim the wheatgrass, put it in here and make a wheatgrass smoothie. You make a, um, a smoothie that's high in uh, vitamins, minerals. Wonderful for you. The dogs are crying because the snow plows are out and they think they need to go chase them. So here I'm going to start my hand crank blender. Uh-oh, and I threw all that frozen food in. It's probably stuck on the blade. Let me see if I can get it to move. Here we go. Now I put, I put some really tough stuff in there to test it. Let me see if I can get it going here. I probably, I probably should have, let me tighten it just a little bit here. I probably should have put in just a little at a time. Probably wasn't thinking there. Because I bet when that frozen stuff hit the liquid it made one solid mass. Let me just get it going. Here we go. I might not have it on the table as good as I should have. Let me adjust that just a little bit here. Trial and error, you know, when you first get something. Okay, here we go. Okay, I didn't have it. I didn't have it quite on. Now my food is probably frozen again. Let me just crank her down. Okay, let's see what we got now. Uh oh, knock the handle off. Hold on. This isn't going to be a pretty video, <laughs> but it's real life, so let's see what happens. I got the handle back on. Here we go. Really chopping up those uh, fruits. Here we go. It's going. big lumps, do you, Prepper? I don't know. Nope. Just a little more. Okay, let's see what we got. That's very nice. It was a little work. <coughs> it was a little work, but I'm assuring you that was a test because those, um, 
those strawberries were rock hard and so was the peaches. Okay, a few little lumps, but I don't mind that. If I, if I continue to crank, I probably will get them out. Wow. It smells good. It does smell good. And it looks good. No power except for a little hand power. Whew, I need a drink after that. A little bit of cranking. I'm going to tell you how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. Perfectly acceptable. Perfectly acceptable. Uh, a little, just slightly. Oh, you're going to try to? Mm -hmm. Really cold. Well, yeah. Delicious. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it may be slightly chunkier than if I would have processed it on high in my in my regular electric blender, but wow, it! I can't believe it. When I'm telling you this, this mass, mass of peaches is hard. It is. It's solid and hard, and it took care of it. I mean, it, it blended it up. Okay, let me take this off so you can see. I mean, I could have edited out the part where I'm struggling, but I, want, I wanted you to see the real deal. I wanted you to see exactly what it's like, and probably if I did it over again, I wouldn't drop all that frozen food in at one time. Okay, let me get this off here. Okay, I'll take the handle off. Are you, you're so busy drinking, are you focusing on this? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so here is, see this little hook on the, uh, on the clamp? It just goes right in this slot at the base of it, and it kind of, it really kind of gets it and hooks it on. So, because, I mean, when I'm telling you I was cranking on that thing, I was cranking. This is really heavy. It's heavy duty. And these are, um rubberized right here that hold the um, the pitcher in place. It didn't make any mark on my table whatsoever. I was going to put a pot holder on it, but it's got these huge uh, big rubber bases on it, so I didn't think it was really going to hurt my table. This is really heavy duty. This is uh, not glass. It's plastic. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go rinse this out and come back and show you what it looks like when I take it apart. I, but I'm going to drink a little more smoothie first. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I've washed up uh, the blender and I have it totally disassembled. You saw the hand crank that you put in. You saw the clamp. Now here's, here's the, the blender itself. Now what's surprising to me is that you think this would have uh, really sharp edges on it, but it doesn't. These Every other blade is uh, different. These two corresponding blades are the same. They're just kind of notched. And these that are a little bit recessed kind of have a little sharper edge on them. There's one little gasket that just sits right down in here. <coughs> you put the pitcher on it. Screw it down. That's all to the base. The lid has these two parts. The little slot for you to drop food in, I guess, while you're turning the crank if you want to blend that way, which I like. It also has a gasket on the inside. Uh, that that comes out and it's what holds that lid on really tight. And like I said, once you get it seated, then you just turn it and that thing's set. You don't have to worry with your food blowing out of that. But here's <laughs> what I think is amazing. They have designed it so that the motor part of it fits right inside the pitcher. How you like that? So you've got this and this is all you have. So, uh, man, I love that. Now, I've got to tell you, um, in my opinion, if I had to rate it, I would say it met my expectations. Um, here we go. I don't know about exceeded, but that's okay. It did what it did what I wanted to do. Uh, if I and I actually love how this smoothie looks, where you can see the orange part. Now that's the FedEx truck that working at. You see the orange part and little specks of the strawberries. Uh, it, it's very beautiful, the smoothie is. And uh, it totally, totally uh, met my expectations. Now, these are typically $89. Um, but 
for right now, I'll go double check it as I post this video and let you know below in the comment section. Uh, when I bought it a couple of weeks ago, it was on sale at L.L. Bean for $69, no shipping. I don't, I don't think I paid any shipping. I'll double check that for you. Uh, but this is a great thing to have. I'm so excited to have it in my toolkit of things I can use if I have no power. So uh, check it out if you're interested in one, have a little cash that you can spend. Uh, I would say it's a great investment. Thanks for watching. This is Cat's Cradle and, and Preparate. There you go. Have a good day, y'all. All right, I just came to check my LL Bean receipt, and I was correct. It was $69. There was no tax and no shipping, just a flat $69. So I'll post the link to that for you. Uh, actually, I saw it on their website and um, and went back to go order it, and then it wasn't on their website. And so I called them and talked to customer service, and they said, yeah, everything's not on our website, and we rotate stuff on and off of there. She said, but we still have it, and we can uh, you can order it. So uh, I just did it through their operator, and uh, they shipped it right to me. So I'll post the link for, uh, for how to get in touch with them. And I'll call to make sure that it's still $69, and I'll let you know. Uh, just look in the comments below. Cash grow.